The effects of the rain, though, could last a lot longer. Jay Gray, NBC News. Jay, thank you. And Jay, as you heard, he mentioned the effects of the rain lasting yeah. longer. That uh, tropical storm now making rainfall, and it's coming this way, so we should be prepared. And we're going to get rain out ahead of that tropical storm. As far as the wind, that's not going to be that big of a factor. It's just all the rain associated with it. So what I want to do is kind of show you when we can expect to see some of the wettest weather here. And Max, overall, we're getting a lot of questions. How much rain are we going to get? Two to six inch totals. That's a lot. And it's going to be many of us getting that. This is going to be wide, not just a few spots, but widespread areas getting heavy rain. It looks like that the heaviest of the rain is going to fall Wednesday night through Thursday morning. And with that amount of rain, combined with all the rain which we saw in May, street flooding, creek flooding, and rivers are highly likely to flood. This means if you had problems in May, maybe some of the normal routes you normally take were flooded, you're also likely going to have some issues issues this time around as Tropical Storm Bill makes it this direction. Right now, the center of the circulation is just now moving onshore to the east and northeast of Corpus Christi. Now, each one of these lines that you see here, each one of these is a different computer model forecast, and notice how they all have just about the same track, taking the tropical storm through Dallas and then right into eastern Oklahoma. Now, of course, the exact track is going to help determine who gets the heaviest amounts of rain, but the system is so large that many of of us are going to be getting widespread amounts of rain, generally anywhere east of I-35, which is anywhere in our viewing area. So if you're watching Channel 2 right now on your television set, you're going to be one of those that are going to be impacted by these huge amounts of rain. Obviously, we'll keep you updated on exactly where the heaviest of the rain bands set up. Right now, temperatures in the 70s and 80s. It is extremely humid. 79 degrees in Pryor, 77 in Tahlequah, 77 in Bartlesville. The sensor has still not been fixed yet in Chandler. It's probably a bit warmer than 40 right now, 75 Oklahoma City and mid 70s in McAllister. Cloudy gray skies and at least the clouds are kept are helping to hold down the temperatures. Not quite as hot as we would normally be this time of year. It is extremely humid. Humidity is near 80% and it is going to stay humid for the next few days. Now so far, most of the morning has been dry for many of us, though we have seen a few small showers in Muskogee as well as into southeastern Oklahoma. For this afternoon, we are going to see increasing areas of rain as these showers near you follow McAllister, Shakota, and Henrietta lift northward. So if you do have something planned for this afternoon, increasing wet weather for you. Look at the tropical storm right now. Here is the center of it right in here. We can see the swirling area near Victoria, Texas. From here, it is going to lift northward. And you can see it's just a huge area of rain that's going to be spreading our direction. Now on the future track, here's what it looks like as far as the timing. Now for the rest of this afternoon, we will see showers and a few thunderstorms randomly developing and moving from south to north across eastern Oklahoma. This means have your umbrella ready to go as you could get rain at any time this afternoon. The trend is that the rain will somewhat diminish tonight. Now by tomorrow morning, the center of what's left of Tropical Storm Bill is going to be moving into the Dallas area. As we go throughout tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, it is slowly going to lift northward into Oklahoma. We'll have to watch the speed of it because that will determine when the rain starts. If you have anything planned outside tomorrow, the first part of the day is going to be the best time to do it as by Wednesday night and Thursday morning, that's when we're going to see the heaviest of the rain arriving here. For the rest of today, increasing rain and extremely humid. It's so humid out there, probably having a, diff a difficult time keeping cool. Highs in the lower 80s across all of green country, Bartlesville 82 and 84 in Muskogee. And then tonight, few showers and thunderstorms possible, very humid and lows near 70. There's seven day forecast, a near 100% chance of rain for tomorrow with most places two to six inches of rain. Stay with us. We'll keep you updated on exactly where these heavy bands set up as we could even see a few spots in Oklahoma even getting more than that. Bottom line, I would recommend against traveling across eastern Oklahoma for Wednesday night and Thursday morning as a lot of roads and even some of the county and state highways could be seeing some flooding issues coming up, especially by Thursday morning. So we want you to stick with us here and we'll keep you updated on exactly where the flooding is located. Glad you mentioned that, George. Definitely flooding would be a mm -hmm. concern. We've had that earlier, especially in May with the amount of rain that we had. And we even had some flooding issues uh, yesterday that were reported in Cherokee County. So we really want you to be careful and not and avoid those areas. And use a lot of common sense as well. If it's an area that you know that floods, if it's a county road, there's a lot of hills nearby, then it's going to be more prone to flooding. Good advice, George. Thank you very much. New this midday, five people are dead after a fourth floor